Good evening, my name is Jim McLaren. Today is Tuesday, April the 2nd, 2019. Take a look at this so clean. It's a, it's a disinfecting device for your CPAP machine. Now I picked this up uh, locally here and 395 that's Canadian price. And I find that very expensive. Anyway, we picked it up today and uh, we're gonna look at some of the features of this so clean disinfecting device. And uh, one of the first things you look at, I'm gonna push the button open here. To, there's a, inside here, there's a, what they call the filter. It only goes one way. And uh, this filter has to be changed every six months. It can't go in the opposite way, it won't fit. So it only goes one way. And that, once you get the unit going, there's, it makes it auction O3. And it uh, disinfects your mask and your hose, and even in your distilled water inside your chamber of your CPAP machine. So that uh, that filters out, dissipates the O3 after the initial setup and uh, startup of their cleaning your mask. So we're going to look at some features today. Now this has to be replaced every six months, and you'll see right here on uh, this tubing. It uh, goes to CPAP mask here, and it says uh, replace every six months. And there's a, a check valve in the tubing here, prevents the water from coming back. And that'll go in. This goes into your reservoir of your of your distill where your distilled water is, where you humidifier. Now I have a certain uh, type C, uh, CPAP, and I believe on Amazon they have different uh, adapters for different masks. And so check your mask out and get the right adapter for it. And I don't have a heated hose, there's an adapter for that as well. So check on Amazon or check your local uh, uh, health supply store and they'll, they'll set you up with the right adapter for your CPAP machine. Now, the uh, this is the one that they talk about, the so clean. Now it comes with the two, it has the, the, the filter and it's got that uh, piece in the middle. And if you open up, it's $45 Canadian, not too, too expensive. And it has instructions on here. I'm not going to open it up. Uh, so it'll say to you, uh, press and hold the manual and hourglass. And then uh, you'll see it. It'll say, uh, have a smiley face. So that'll say that it's, it's reset up to your system. So that's about $45 Canadian for that particular cartridge and filter kit. Now what the... It comes with this stuff inside the box and it's got an adapter to talking about the adapter here I actually went on YouTube and checked my mask out how to hook it up it got lots of support here it got telephone support and they got uh, email support now the manual that comes with it it's adequate uh, and it's really good it shows you all the parts uh, shows you all the parts on the uh, of your of your so clean unit and it gives you the SKU numbers and the part number that you need to order all that information is in here now it's got excellent tutorial on how to set up your time how to set up uh, the length of your uh, uh, what time does it comes on what time it's it, how many minutes it comes on for and it has some uh, kind of vague about how to hook up to your your dehumidifier, your uh, humidifier, or your in your water where you hold your distilled water, and just basic instructions on here. They got some uh, just some general information, and they have showing you how to set up times and all that. It's fairly good stuff here, but it doesn't really show you how to hook up your uh, the mask, which is this going to hook up into your your unit itself. Now this hole is going to be cut a little bit because it's too long. So it's a standard holds length, and depending on your mask, on your, where you, you hold your distilled water, you don't have to be cut back. So the unit has this uh, this plug here, and this is, uh, there's two interlocks here. The machine will not turn on if these two interlocks are not met. And this plug can go on either side, so depending on what side you, like I have my mask on this side, and uh, so I have the plug in this side, or you can have it reverse, whatever you want. So this plug goes in and it just puts on that interlock there. Kind of fits there, kind of loosely inside there. Now one thing I'll say about the SoClean here, 
Uh, depending on your mask, a lot of people have uh, like just the nose mask. I have a fairly big mask, uh, like a full face mask, and it has just enough room in there. It's a little bit tight. A uh, little negative thing about this, a little bit, a little bit small. Anyway, I'll get into some of the basics of the uh, of the unit here, and uh, the serial number is on the outside of the box, on the original box, and if uh, under, underneath here, the serial number is underneath here, right here, underneath right there, on the serial number underneath your unit itself, you can't find it on the outside of the box, but it's written there. And uh, you should uh, send your warranty in. There's a warranty card that comes with it. And send that information in. And you can send it online or you can or you can actually send it by mail to them. Get that warranty information in. Uh, it's very important to get that warranty information. It asks you just basic questions. You know, name, address, a telephone number, and email, stuff like that. So we can keep you updated through email. So, or online, register online. Then you have it all set up, and then you don't have to worry about any uh, problems with your so clean device here. Now, I just uh, I've had a bit of a cold, so you have to bear with me this week. And I went to see the uh, the pharmacist, and I was talking to her, and she said, "From what the symptoms you're telling me, you should go see the doctor. You you probably got a bacteria infection." Then I mentioned my CPAP mask, and uh, my and she says, "Oh, uh, you clean it off?" I said, "Well, I should clean it up more off." But she was saying that you should invest in one of these things. They do a nice job. They disinfect your mask and your holes and, and in your chamber where the water is and in your ma and your unit. So she said, highly recommend that you would change that, get that unit. I know it's very expensive, but it's well worth it. So I've had my uh, CPAP for about two or three years, and I finally decided to buy this so clean today. So we're going to look at setting the time on this thing. And in the back of the unit, <coughs> where it plugs in, this is the, the plug-in that comes with it. This is a, like a DIN connect in the back. And the hose is already connected to the back of my unit. So we're just going to plug it in here. I'll turn the power on. We'll set, we'll set the, uh, the clock up and it'll show you some other things about it. So we're just going to pause the video now and, and I'll show you how to set up the clock on this unit. Okay, we got the power, plugged the power in. Now we just hit this hour, this uh, clock button here. We're going to set the time. It's already set at 12 o'clock. And it's preset from the factory at, uh, to uh, for the unit to come on for seven minutes. And it goes from uh, 5 to 12. You can set that. We'll show you how to set that. And it's set for 10 o'clock a.m. to start coming on, coming on in the morning. Now you can set that whatever time you want. It does not matter. Now I think you can manually hit it here. Hit the manual button. So if say you get up in the morning, you want to start this sequence, hit the manual button and it'll start right away. But make sure you have your mask in there and it's closed. And we'll talk about some of the features of that after. So we're going to hit the clock button here today. And you're going to set, set the time bit. And uh, we're going to set the time a little bit uh, closer to the time that we wanted to come on. So I'm going to set it around shortly after 9 o'clock and then give me time to get my mask in there and set things up. So I'll leave it at oh, that, maybe 9.30 here. And then hit the clock again. Now it's set for 9.30 a.m. Now I hit this hourglass. Now that's going to set uh, your runtime from 7 minutes. From five minutes to uh, up to 12 minutes. Now I'm just going to leave it at the factory setting. Now, another thing I want to show you, and then hit that again, and then it's set for 10 o'clock. So if you wanted to go at 11 o'clock, whatever you want, it doesn't matter. I'm going to let it set for 9, uh, 10 o'clock. That's a good time for me. So it's set for 10 o'clock. You hit the that hour button again. Now it's all set up. Now, the other thing, if you want to set this for 24 hour time, you hit the uh, the clock button plus the this button, and then you hit the manual button, and then that'll show you the 12-hour format or the 24-hour format. Just use the plus minus. I can just leave it at the 12-hour uh, format. I prefer that. And just hit that back now. It's 
set back to the 20, uh, for uh, 12 hour to the 24 hour time period. So now the clock set up. The time is set up for run for seven minutes and set up for 10 o'clock a.m. in the morning. So we're going to pause it again and do the next step. Now this is my uh, CPAP. It's got the REM star. I don't know if you can see the REM star SE in uh, system one. Now I have a, a humidifier here. Just, I hope you're using distilled water. We should be using distilled water. Now they tell you, I think when I first got this mask, they said uh, dump your distilled water every so many days. Uh, I use it. I refill it every second day. I use a lot of distilled water. I had to highest setting up for mine for about five I, on the, from one to five I got it set for five so I'm setting my humidifier uh, a lot higher and I put distilled water in there all the time every second day now they're suggesting that uh, when you put this hose through here this hose is going to go inside your reservoir now I'll leave the water in there you don't have to uh, it's going to fit snug down inside here they don't want a long hose on it and uh, it's going to fit through the, your chamber here and then through the, your reservoir for your water is. Now the thing that uh, it's going to bubble through the water as well. So it'll disinfect your water as well as uh, through your holes and then through your mask into so, the so clean unit here. So we're just going to put this in here. And then I'm just going to manually take it off a little bit. Of it. I won't take too much off. I'm just going to manually take this off. Uh, about that much, I think, right now. Cut the holes. And put it in here. And you gotta thread it through here into your reservoir here. And I think you got just enough here. Put that in here. Now there's an adapter on here for your mask here. Now here's your mask here. And uh, you set it inside the so clean here. Now I said my mask. Now you, I leave the. Uh, this is the uh, the harness that goes over your back of your head here. I just leave everything in here. Put the whole mask in here. Like I said, it's just enough room for my mask here to fit inside this so clean thing. I'd have to adjust it a little bit more. So now it's in there, and you hook up your holes to the adapter here. I'm going to plug it in here. Now we're going to talk about how this is going to work here now. So we're going to actually set the unit to start the unit up. And what happens is it starts that, it'll start and you'll hear it noisy for about the seven minute time that it comes on at 10 o'clock a.m. Whatever time you want to set, it doesn't matter. So it comes on for about seven minutes. I have factory set at seven minutes. It will come on and start disinfecting your mask. So I'll go through the procedures before we start it because it gets a little noisy. And that, that, that the only time it's noisy is that seven initial minutes, wherever time you have it set for. And then uh, it starts to create that uh, O3 and then it gets the dissipates through your mask and it actually filters your water as well. So it comes back to the unit, the so clean unit comes through that tubing. There's the check valve here. Comes through this unit. Now it's plugged into your distilled water. It'll bubble through the distilled water, come up through your holes and into your mask. And it's gonna clean the distilled water. It's gonna clean your holes and it's clean clean your mask. And that that filter in there after the seven minutes and it changes to a, I think it's a yellow color. And it, it takes about two hours to get rid of that, that O3. And then uh, don't open it up because you'll have that, uh, that stuff inside there. So then I have that ozone there. That seven minutes it will create that ozone. And it's going to go through your, uh, your unit. It's go through your mask and your, your holes and clean everything. And then after that seven minutes that it'll dissipate a little bit more and, and then the, the it'll turn it back to auction but it takes about two hours to complete and uh we're going to turn it on now i'm going to set it close to the i got it set for 9:35. so again you hit the clock button 
and you just go up we're gonna hit it to 959 that's sorry I didn't see it wasn't in, in line there so we have it for 9.59, you know, at 10 o'clock, it's going to come on. You're going to see the, the light come on here. And then it's going to start doing its job and disinfecting your mask, disinfecting your uh, your hose, and, uh, and disinfecting the, even the water inside the, your, your chamber of your CPAP machine. So again, uh, uh, this so clean, uh, it's just kind of a simple process. I guess they use it in different hospitals and stuff like that and uh, disinfect stuff. So kind of a good thing to have. And uh, a friend of mine, his wife's a registered nurse and she says uh, that just cleaning your mask and cleaning your hose often does not do the complete job. You need this, some kind of a, like the so clean, or I guess there's different models out there. Anyway, she says you definitely need that. It's definitely worth your while to buy it. I find it very expensive. Like you know, that's a lot of money, $395 Canadian. So I'll be coming on in a few seconds here, and uh, except for 10 o'clock a.m. There it goes. Now it's red. Now it's gonna it's gonna start starting up the ozone there, starting to flow through. You can see the uh, bubbling here. See the bubbling in the bottom of my chamber here now. And you can see it bubbling there. So now it's coming through the unit, going through the distilled water in there, through the mass holes and through your mask into this unit. Now that red light will come on for seven minutes and then it'll switch and it'll start dissipating. It'll still be doing the reaction after that initial seven minutes, but it takes two hours to completely get rid of the O3 back to O2 with that filter that you have to change every six months along with this, this little tubing part of it. A little bit noisy, but it only is going to be noisy for the time you have set from 5 to 12 minutes. So, And it says there's a little flashing light on the, underneath the bottom. It says not to lift up the lid. So you don't want to lift that lid up. There's holes on in there, and it's not good for you. So we're going to just let it run here. And then when it comes up to the 7 minutes, I'll show you the next step. So it's still dissipating here, almost at the seven minutes now. It's almost at six minutes there. 10.06, 10.07 is gonna switch. So now it's creating that ozone, it's going through the your system there, through the back of the uh, so clean, through that tubing, through your distilled water, through the holes, through your mask. And then at 10.07, it's gonna switch. Now it'll start to, still that ozone is still working inside after the seven minutes. But then it's going to start to turn it from O3 dock to O2, that filter inside this whole clean unit here. So it's almost at seven minutes here. It still says in the bottom here, do not open the lid. So I have a little warning. There it goes. So now you see now it's the yellow light. And now, now there's two hours now to remaining. Do not open that uh, so clean unit. Just let it do its work. Let it clean. Uh, get rid of that ozone. And then we'll check back in a couple hours. And then, uh, so it'll be two hours at the 10.07. So 12.07, we'll check it. And the light should turn to, to green. We'll check it in a couple hours. So we're almost finished at two hours. And we started at 10 o'clock. And it does a, it's 12.04 now. So another three minutes, this will be turning green and then you'll be able to take your mask out of here and uh, I much forgot to mention this so clean it comes with your uh, your so clean device here the new neutralizing pre-wash they suggest that you uh, use uh, a gallon of water so uh, 16 cups or eight of these and uh, put this about a quarter of this solution in there or just use the uh, two capfuls in here Two capfuls, mix it up, and it gets rid of the, any uh, smells and stuff that you may have had, fragrances that you may have had on your mask and that. And uh, I usually use Dawn dishwasher soap to clean my mask and the holes and that stuff, and then and the still water chamber. And they say to get rid of that, to get rid of that smell, and start your soap clean when you're disinfecting your soap clean. 
Now, you're still going to have to clean your mask, and uh, you're still going to have to clean your hose and maybe your reservoir. And uh, that's still, you know, you're still going to oil, and you're going to get stuff on your mask here. So you're still going to have to clean it manually. And uh, so this is a very good unit, uh, $395. It's very expensive. We're almost on the uh, countdown there, and that's going to change to the green there. And... Uh, Takes that solution two hours to dissipate all the O3 down the back. That cleaner in there is going back to O2. You be able to open this up and use your mask. So it's a, uh, I say it's a little expensive, and uh, for the price of a three hundred ninety-five dollar, that's a lot of money for this. But you need, and uh, like my friend said, that his wife said that you should have this system to clean your mask. You're wearing it every night, so so protect yourself. Psalms at the 1207 there, and that should be turning there green. Should be able to move your mask there. A few more seconds there, and uh, it's 1207, but it'll come on. There it goes. So now it's green. Now we can open up the, uh, the unit now. And then, uh, now people say, I can't smell it, but uh, people say there's a smell to this, your mask after. I can't smell it because I got a, a bad cold, but you say it's like an ocean smell. It's not a bad smell, so they use this stuff in hospitals and stuff like that. So anyway, so that's my review of the So Clean and uh, using your CPAP mask. I'd like to thank all my subscribers, all my new subscribers. Thanks so much for subscribing to my channel. If you watched for the first time today, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for taking the time to listen to my video today. Have a great day.